Hello and welcome to another French Cheeks Top Tip video. I'm Craig Phillips, their brand ambassador. In this video, I'm going to show you how to prepare and paint two different sections of decking so it lasts. And the products I'll be using are Swanky Pants and Victory Lane, both from the Alfresco range. I'm also going to be cleaning the surfaces with French Cheeks Concentrated Sugar Soap. I'll apply the paint on with their own 65mm oval brush. And in some areas, I'm going to be using an external flexible wood filler. And of course, cleaning products here. Now, the two sections that I've got are the same material. However, this one has already been painted and this one has come directly from the manufacturers and has been tantalized with a water-based wood treatment. It's vital to ensure that the surface and structure that you want to paint is in a suitable and dry condition. And of course, preparation is important because if you fail to prepare, prepare to fail. I'm going to start with the deck and that's already painted. I'm going to take a hard yard brush and scrub the surface, removing any loose debris. Then I'm going to mix up some concentrated sugar soap with some warm water and start to scrub your planks down. I'm using a hand scrubbing brush. This allows me to get in between all the grooves on each plank, making sure that I remove all moss and algae. If you have a jet wash, it's ideal then to jet wash the area down to rinse all the sugar soap off. If not, this can be done with a couple of buckets of clean warm water. Ensure that your surfaces are completely dry prior to painting. I'm going to leave this to dry because external wood surfaces in particular can retain moisture for up to 48 hours after rainfall or preparation. And then tomorrow, I will take my wire wool brush, give it a gentle wire wool and through just to check that there isn't any loose or flaky paint on there because of course that needs to be removed and sanded down before I apply the paint. Now this section of decking is the new planks directly from the manufacturers and as you can see the colour of them has got a tint of green to them. That's the tantalisation where they've been pressure treated in a factory. That's designed of course to give them a longer life expectancy and preserve them. It's a water based one so we can paint directly on top of them. However, I can see the screw holes in them. They're already been countersunk so they've gone a little bit deeper than the groove themselves here. So what I'm going to do is fill them because you don't want to void there where the water can pocket in there and of course be standing on them, penetrate into the wood. So I'm using an external flexible paintable wood filler. It's easy to apply using a cork gun. Place the nozzle over the top head of the screw and squeeze a small amount in. Then using your scraper, press it down to fill the void and try to make it as flat as possible. Hopefully if the deck and planks have been fitted correctly, the screws themselves will be driven through the groove in the plank, not the top surface. Once you've done this across all the screw holes, take a relatively wet cloth, wet your finger and wipe it across the filler. This smooths it out even more. Although these planks are new, I've noticed a large crack right the way down the centre of one of my planks. Again, it's in between the grooves, so I'm going to apply some filler and smooth this off with the damp cloth. I'll now leave this filler to dry overnight and it's ready to be painted over. Now my flexible filler is dry, I'm going to give it a light sanding. I've got a sanding sponge here and a P150 grit. So it's only a very fine sandpaper, I'm just going to give it a light little tickle over the actual filler and then to see if there's any little splinters or anything on the new timber as well before I start painting. Now the sanding is complete, I'm going to give it a dust off and then it's ready to start painting. But because it's bare wood, I'm going to dilute my first coat by about 10%. By adding clean cold water, give it a good stir up. This will make the paint a lot thinner and penetrate into the wood better. And then you can start to apply the paint. And I say this every time I use Frenchy, it's just so beautiful, thick, creamy, easy to apply. It covers the surfaces so, so well. It just 
Just look at that, it's a bit of wood in the face coat. Now I'm applying the paint with one of French Eek's largest oval brushes. They're superb quality. Handmade in Italy, it's designed and constructed for unique tasks. It provides maximum speed of coverage for large projects like decking areas. It's also suitable for almost any type of paint and can assist in achieving a smooth finish. Now I've applied the first coat of paint, I'm going to leave this to dry for at least four hours before I apply a second coat. It's also wise to give your paintwork a good inspection. Get yourself a little wire brush and just go along all the edges and see if any of the paint is flaking off at any point in between all the grooves right the way along the edges of each piece of timber. This section of decking has now been prepared. It's had a good clean, it's had a sanding down, it's been scored with the white wool brush and there's no flaky bits on it, so I'm happy to paint directly onto the surface now. This time I'm just gonna give my tin a little shake and then I'm gonna apply it directly from the tin without diluting it down straight onto the surface. Using French Eek's oval brushes, the 65mm wide ones have very long bristles on them, so it not only helps getting in between all of the routed out grooves on the non-slip tread, but it also helps you get in between each plank with your paint. Now a 750 milliliter tin like this one would normally do around 12 and a half square meters. This may vary under certain conditions depending on how porous and flat the surface is. Of course, decking planks like this has a routed out groove in the top surface designed for a non-slip tread, therefore may take a little bit more paint than you expect. Always check the details on the side of the tin about the coverage. The Alfresco Inside Outside range is a water-based, durable, weatherproof, UV resistant chalk and mineral paint developed to transform your garden and indoor furniture. It's self-leveling, meaning there's no brush marks, self-priming and self-sealing with excellent coverage. Alfresco paint is touch dry after one hour. However, when you come to do your second coat, you need to leave it till at least four hours in normal conditions before you can walk on it. Plus, take your shoes off. You need to be in your socks before you can walk on it. So remember, four hours. You don't even have to sand between the coats. This alfresco will key to it really well. Straight out of the tin, covering up all of the planks between all the grooves and the joint between each board. Now I'm only covering a small area of about six square meters here and it's taken me about 12 to 15 minutes with my paintbrush. If your area was a lot larger, you can in fact use a handheld paint sprayer, which of course will be much quicker. However, you will have to dilute the paint down up to 15% to get it working through the sprayer. If you are using the paint sprayer, three coats will be necessary because of the dilution. Now back to the planks which were bare wood and had the first coat slightly diluted. Rub your fingers across it, you may feel it's a little bit coarse on the surface. Just give it a gentle sanding down, then dusting off before applying your second coat. Once I've completed my second coat, I'm gonna leave this to dry for a further four hours before applying a third coat. Now, the reason I choose to apply a third coat is because my first coat was diluted. And of course, the more coats you apply, the 
better protection you're giving it. Now, if your painted decked area is expecting a lot of foot traffic, it may be wise to add a layer of finishing coat or tough top coat over the area for that extra protection. So that's how you prepare and paint your decking so it lasts, whether it was previously painted or brand new planks. If you're looking for more inspiration, head over to the French Heat Fan Forum on Facebook. And if you want to know more about the products I've been using, just go to their website, frenchheatpaint.co.uk.